In this video, we're going to turn this pile of sticks into this pile of sticks that just so happens to be a compass accurate within four degrees, unbelievably. I also just put this stick down in the general direction of north so that I could see if this was actually working as the sun was moving around. So as you'll see, this is the most complicated and hardest part of the entire setup, just pushing a stick into the ground. I'd suggest a stick of maybe 120 centimetres or so, maybe three to four feet high. You don't want it to be too big, but you certainly don't want it to be too short. What you're really looking for is a nice long crisp shadow where you can clearly see the end and the movement at the end point of that shadow. What you'll also need is a sun. Luckily there's one in the sky today. This is the simplest process ever. We're simply going to trace the shadow across the ground over time. Ideally, you'd have the smoothest, flattest, most uniform ground ever to do this on. But as you can see, even on the grass, it can be difficult to see exactly where the shadow ends. So my simple solution is just to put the back of my hand down and mark out exactly where that shadow ends on my hand. This, believe it or not, is a 40 times real life time lapse that you're looking at and you can see over the course of 11 minutes just how little movement there actually is in that shadow. You can see that for a moment the sun actually started to go in and it really would have been very difficult to do a shadow compass without a shadow. So you can see over that period of time there was only a couple of inches of movement so I decided that I was going to go away and come back with my best friend two hours later. I was pleased to see nobody had come and kicked the stick down in that intervening period. And look at this. We now had a couple of feet of movement in the tip of that shadow. So putting down an extra marker there gave us three excellent points of reference. And if we put a straight stick down to join up those markers, we will have a stick that is pointing towards the east and west. So we know the shadow is of course moving to the east which means the other end must be pointing westward, which means if we add an extra stick at right angles to the initial stick, that will give us our north and south pointers as well. And I could not believe how accurate this was. I always thought that this was just something that gave you a general impression. But if you can do it on nice flat ground like this, it is surprisingly effective. And when I put my phone down in exactly the alignment that I thought matched up to the sticks, it was only four degrees off north. Absolutely incredible. Fair play. And as you can see, there's not really much of a view from here. We can see the trees about six foot away from us. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and check out my other videos for loads more survival, bushcraft, camping, bivying, outdoor gear reviews and all sorts of other stuff from the great outdoors. If you really want to help me out, please consider becoming a channel member, leaving a super thanks, being a PayPal supporter or a Facebook subscriber, just like some of my recent supporters, Melissa L, Sean B, BL Beach, C Cole, Dawn H, A Sanford, T Seymour, David D and Kaz G. Thank you very much everybody, the support really really makes a difference, especially at a time like this. Until the next time, keep it interesting, keep it compass worthy, have a fantastic day and of course, farewell.